Hi, this is Mike Main Galloway Track Riders again. Our latest uh, project is a 1968 LED-8427. Uh, it was a factory off-road engine that was bought brand new in the crate back in 1970 or 71 and around there. And a friend of mine has owned it ever since. And uh, he bought it in its original state with cast iron heads, 12 to 1 compression and it had the LED-8 off-road cam in it originally. He drag raced it through the 70s into the early 80s, and it's been parked since 1982. We got it out and redid it for a Nova project of his. He has a 66-72 mini top, March chassis under the front, and a Mosier 9-inch rear in it, Super T-10 four-speed, and it's a pretty nice car. And uh, anyhow, we uh, lowered the compression, uh, we bored 30, hung with torque plates, and we lowered the compression down to 9.6 to 1. And uh, it has a set of Edel Brock RPM performer heads on it, cylinder heads, uh, rectangular port, and a 119 combustion chamber. And it has 2.25 uh, intake and a 188 exhaust valve in it. And uh, we went for a little bit uh, last summer with a uh, flat tap of hydraulic cam in it. But this time we upgraded it to a uh, hydraulic roller, and the camshaft is pretty comparable to the uh, 425 horse or LS6 cam, the 450 horse cam, and uh, it's the best of both worlds, like right in between the uh, four and a quarter horse and an LED8 cam. It's 242 degrees duration on the intake and 248 on the exhaust on a 110 separation. That's a duration of 50. It's 540 and 560 lift. It's a comp cam, and uh, it's a little ratty, but uh, I think that we like it. So, anyhow, uh, we're ready to fire it up now since we did the cam change. And um, we always take a pink lift full of gasoline and fill up the front of the carburetor first. And that way it fires off the bat. No cranking, no, no moving of the skipper around trying to get it fired. I love the initial fire up if it fires right up. Uh, there's no uh, break in problem. So, put that down in there. We've already um, set the distributor in. We already primed the uh, oil pump that had 75 pounds of the drill. And uh, I'll put this in. Uh, where we had it before when we run it last summer, so I think it'll fire right up. You pump your gas, we'll just push the accelerator pump a couple times to make sure that we have gas in there, and we did. So it ought to fire right up. And uh, we have mufflers on it. Uh, we always do that for the initial break in so we can hear it. And I will let the idle on up a little bit just to break things in a little bit. Even though it's a hydraulic roller cam, there is no cam break in. But I still like things to idle up a little bit so we get tuned in a little bit and then we start to idle down. So here we go. Open the door. Okay. Here we go. I think she'll start up. Let's go.
we have the timing roughed in a little bit right now. Plus the low compression and the uh, overlap in the cam and the um, aluminum heads, we can run a little bit of timing with this motor. I'm saying probably 37 degrees is where I'm going to walk it in at. And, uh, anyhow, um, I have it about 35 right now, so we're going to fire it up again. We're going to adjust the timing and the carburetor, and, uh, I, I think then after it cools down, we will readjust the valves, and then we'll retort the heads. And this will be ready to set in tonight, and this, this is going to a car show Saturday morning at, uh, Miller Auto Parts in Huntington, uh, Pennsylvania. And, uh, so... So I'm going to fire it up again here and I'm going to set the timing, lock it down, maybe just the carburetor a little bit and uh, let it run for a little bit and we'll uh, uh, retort the heads and set the valves after a while. I have a time to set 36 degrees right now, and um, we're going to put it in the car and try it at that first, and uh, just make sure everything's all right. This will run on pump gas, 91 octane, uh, because of the uh, 9.61 compression aluminum heads. The aluminum heads dissipate the heat faster than cast iron, so it will run on pump fuel. And um, it sounds really good. It sounds pretty much like an old L88, just like it did back in the 70s. And uh, with the reliability of a hydraulic roller cam now, no more valve adjustments. And uh, my friend is 72 years old that owns this, and he's still a hot rocker. He still likes to, to go past and have the tire when he needs it. And uh, we're going to open up the headers now and just listen to it a little bit with the header. And there's no thermostat in it, so it warms up pretty quick. <laughs> if you're worried about me rubbing the cold ends, and this little girl warms up pretty quick without a thermostat in it. So, and the small radiator, so uh, there's, I'm not hurting the engine, believe me, and we have real lightweight oil in it just to break it in. We have 530 in it right now, and uh, we're going to switch to Brad Penn uh, semi-synthetic oil to 
very good oil for in this on the street. So uh, we're probably going to run like a, a 1040 or a 1540 oil in it with a high performance racing filter. So uh, let's start about the header does now and just listen to it a little bit. And we're going to stick this in the car after a while and this will be running by 5 o'clock. Right now it's probably about 12.30 or 1 down there. So this will be running tonight in our Chevy 2 and maybe we'll take a couple videos of that. Okay. Okay, there you have it. It sounds just like it did 35, 40 years ago. And uh, whenever I was 19 years old, I had the privilege of driving this uh, motor. It was in a 67 Chevelle. It had a uh, wide ratio four-speed in it with a uh, 411 gear and a small slick, and it run 1220 in 1976, 75, 1976, and around there. And this would run that big old Chevelle 1220s on our local track. And uh, in our 72 is the way it is now with 370 gears, I think we can get it into mid to high 11s. It, it, it runs really good in that 72. So, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll take a video of it once back in the car and running. Thank you.